How is everybody? Happy 2023! Oh my gosh, new year. So this is by the same developers as uh, To The Moon and Finding Paradise. <laughs> same developers. It's supposed to be the conclusion to the series, but it's also put as a prequel, I think chronologically. Let's just jump into it and then we'll find out together. <laughs> But let me know if anything's too quiet or whatnot. I was about to say, is that car gonna run over the squirrels again? Sounds good so far? Okay, sweet. The end of the road. Who hosts dumb parties at a place like this? Why did I even accept the invitation in the first place? Ew, parties. Socializing? Terrible. Well, actually... Why did I accept the invitation? Okay. The rusty mailbox is stuffed full. Oh, they're gonna keep playing the opening credits as I walk. Gotcha. Hello? What kind of fancy place is this for a party? Wait, this is how horror stories begin, isn't it? But... Maybe also some romance stories, eh, eh? Yo, maybe both. Why not best of both worlds? No, mostly just horror stories. Uh, nope, I can't look at any of that. Quaint stone statue of a lady and a bird. I mean, the developers are called Freebird Games. This fountain... is pretty dang cool. It's just overflowing from the rain. Doesn't seem like it's been used in a long time. Come and think of it, this whole place seems rather overgrown. Do people really still live here? Ah, yes, because couples always survive till the end of horror stories. Ah, don't you always want to be, what is it? What's the trope? The last girl surviving? Really want to host a party in the creepiest place possible? Okay. That sounds nice. <laughs> this building actually looks like it's going to fall apart. Hello? Hello? Act one. I think. Act one, maybe. Here, let me get that for you. Oh, hello there. Oh, hello there! Hi, I was invited to the, uh... Am I even at the right place? Yes, you're the first guest to arrive, in fact. You aren't early, the other guests are just late. Huh, must be the rain. Ah, sorry about the floor. That's fine, just stand still for a moment. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> what in the world? Hey, Shiro, welcome in, welcome in. Oh, actually, now I realize. I didn't even say hi to everybody. I actually don't remember how to stream anymore. Oh my gosh. Hello, Meta. Hello, Steph. Hello, Killshot. Hello, Blaze. There we go. I've said hi to everybody. <laughs> I don't know how to stream anymore. What's up, Kay? I am realizing I've forgotten everything. I don't know how to stream. What is talking to people? What is streamer things? <laughs> Whoa, how did you do that? That'd be the auto-cleaning module X-Clean 2000. 
I want that. Or was it the X Clean 3000? Okay, why is the freaking mansion on the outside so like dilapidated and yet they have this kind of technology on the inside? Like, come on. No, twas the X Clean 4000 Super. The owners are a bit germaphobic. We spare no expense when it comes to cleanliness. Uh, why did I struggle with that word? <laughs> owners, so you aren't. Certainly not. We're just their assistants. You guys are some snazzy dressed assistants, though. Caretakers of the house, among other things. Speaking of which, they should be expecting you upstairs. It be to your credit to greet them. They like those who are punctual. Oh, alright. I'm so sad that I have to be alone in this in this game. Before I had like Dr. Watts and Rosaline and they could bicker with each other and now it's it's not the same. Yeah, glad you're doing good, Kay, and you're having a great day. Thanks, thanks. I am enjoying myself. I hope you had a good day too, Shiro. The Lapidate Mansion is an aesthetic, Kay. An aesthetic. It is a look. I'll give you that. But still, it actually makes me nervous. I don't know. Would you re Listen, if you saw a building that was like crumbling, would you really walk into it? I'm not exactly the urban explorer type. I'd like to not fall through the floor. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. It's so gaudy, but it's very purple and I can appreciate that too. The bathroom is to your right. Huh? To wash your hands. A germaphobe, remember? Right. I've been in several, but why? What's the reason? Trespassing on property? Okay, we're gonna wash our hands because we are going to respect people. Wow, this seems a bit much. Do they really need to sit on gold to take a dump? <laughs> Yo, I'm just saying. Appreciate the gold toilets. They look horrifying. I've seen the pictures of the legitimate gold toilets. They're so, they're so gaudy. They're so unnecessary. But like, at the same time, it's pretty funny. As long as it's not in my place of residence, it's pretty funny to look at. It's not trespassing when no one lives there. Wow, sneaky sneaky. I'd rather a silver toilet, no thanks. What, no one wants the gold? No one wants the tacky gold? Terrible. Oh wait, can I look at the toilet? A golden toilet. I'm not feeling it now, but when I do... I'm going to destroy this toilet. You know, have goals. Have goals. A crystalline bathtub. Everything's so fancy. Having a bathtub in the middle of the room also kind of makes me nervous. I like them against the wall. Wash your hands. Don't be nasty. You're gonna use soap? Liquid soap. You didn't use soap! Quincy, you didn't use soap. Wow, they really got everything. Okay guys, be honest. If you go to the bathroom, do you wash your hands properly with soap? Do you? Because I especially heard this was a dude thing. <laughs> yes, yes, yes I do. Okay. <laughs> good to know y'all are hygienic. Good, good. The horror stories I've heard. Hello. Okay. Goodbye. My gosh, who doesn't use a dude thing? I feel like, no. Okay. See, I feel like I've heard stories from guys who are just like, yeah, you you go to the bathroom and you know, just leave without washing your hands. I'm not saying everyone. I'm just saying I feel like I've heard it one too many times, where I'm starting to get concerned. Where there's enough room in my mind to doubt people sometimes. I ain't want to shake pee pee hands with people. <laughs> you know, that's good. Good. Shake it, shake it. I know, I know. I get what you meant. Exactly, right? Right? This is a thing that people do and it's terrible. Okay, can I talk to you? Is everything to your liking? Oh, well, I just got here, but sure is fancy. Although, if you don't mind me asking, 
Why is it so overgrown outside? I mean, compared to in here, it's like day and night. Ah, uh, please excuse the sight. The endless rain has halted my efforts. Or perhaps, did the fox trample the foliage again? A literal fox. Those darn foxes. Oh, come on. Foxes are so cute. Foxes are adorable. Meta, you shouldn't pee on... <laughs> yes, please do not pee on your hands. Why not? It's The only time you should be peeing on your hands is if... What? You got stung by a jellyfish. That is like the exception to that rule. If it's cold outside, why would you pee on your hands? That's just... Ugh. Listen, just grab some snow or something instead and wash your hands that way if you really have to. Don't... don't be... I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. You're not supposed to pee- Really? I thought the thing was you're supposed to. Why do I always have it memorized that way then? Better on my hands than my- Mmm. Mmm. I feel, I feel. Hi, Kay, how are you doing? Hi, Hansu. Interesting timing you got. We're just talking about peeing on your hands. <laughs> oh, this is so cursed. Okay, we're moving on. We're, we're moving on from this topic. Okay. Little fox? Fox as an actual fox fox. Yes, sir, with a full set of ears and legs. Did you not see Sir Floof Fox? Uh, I don't think so. Are you sure? Looks a tad like a dog, pointy ears, white on the chin and tip of tail. Yeah, I know what a fox looks like. I mean, my last name. Wait, was he supposed to be just out there in the yard? There is fencing for him, but he's been known to get out now and then. There's just a pet fox here. Okay, that's fine. Now you've got me freaked. I better go check on him. Okay, well, I just drove a meal away. Hi. And they're still upstairs. Feel free to make yourself at home. Okay, you have nothing else to contribute to me. Having, having goals that are attainable is really good. I don't really think about my goals that much. <gasps> Hi, little robot! There are buttons on here. Activation! Exclamation mark. One! Uh, hey. Hello! <laughs> so, uh, what do you do? Rice bot! <gasps> it's a rice bot! It makes rice! <gasps> Rice bot has two purposes. Hook, best rice, and emotional so I love him already. This is my favorite character. Done. <laughs> this is everything. No, you know what? No, this is this is the ideal partner. <laughs> this is the ideal partner, you know? <laughs> best rice and emotional support? <laughs> it's perfect. That's that's beautiful. I need a rice bot. I love him too. Best character. I love rice bot. OMG. Rice bot has bondo of the year. Exactly, right? What do I want? Do I want you to cook rice for me or do you want you to be my emotional support? Is it bad that I kind of want him to cook rice for me? Emotional support is one thing, but rice, rice. Are you sure you cook the best rice? Elaborate. I mean, how do you know you really cook? The best rice. Who's to say? Rice bot says it. But you're the cook. Rice bot is rice bot. You are only Quincy. You are not rice bot. <laughs> rice bot knows rice. It is known. <laughs> okay, okay. Sheesh. Wait, how does it know my name? Ayo? Sus. Okay. Be my emotional support. Well, I suppose I could use some emotional support. How can you help? A nuanced question depends on many factors. What is troubling you? Everything. Everything. Best rice is equivalent to emotional support. You know what? That's true. I love rice bot. How dare you question the rice bot? <laughs> she never eats rice. I do sometimes. I just... I. Definitely not often. Not as often as I wish I could without destroying my health. <laughs> Support me, Rice Bot. Well, I'm a bit fuzzy right now, but I think lately I've been feeling... The solution is... 
Would you like some? <gasps> I would. Oh, not now. Thanks. Boo you. Okay. It appears there is nothing Ricebot can do for you. Entering hibernation rice warming mode. Oh, rice bot is adorable. That was pretty extra. That was fantastic. I love rice bot. What is there not to appreciate? What's this? Hello. What the? Okay. Now that's extra. Hey, the party hasn't started yet. The main attraction is off limits till then. Sorry. The main attraction? Is it weird that I'm kind of expecting this to be that machine that Watts and Rosaline were using in like To the Moon and Finding Paradise? Like I wouldn't be surprised. Can't grab it though. Is this what we're here for? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Pool, pool table? Yes, billiards. Uh, the sad fact when the pool table sticks are taller than I am. Let's see, I was born a lefty, so let's go left. It's probably no difference, is there? Go up. Okay, up we go. Okay, isn't that normal being shorter than the sticks? I don't think it is. Most of my homies are not shorter. Normal for you? Okay, thank you, Mindy. <laughs> Okay, let's let's just go in order. We'll just go left to right. Hello. They said the party was upstairs. Well. Oh, sorry. I zoned out for a bit. Hmm. Boop. That's my piece. Capturing my king with my own pawn? Truly the one move I did not anticipate. Okay, look. This chess game is cute and all, but can we cut to the chase? Are you joining us or not? Hello? Well, I see the others are arriving. Not leaving because you're losing for once. I don't lose. I get generous. <laughs> Why does that sound like me? I don't lose. I get generous. Hello, my name is... Something. Not important. Hmm. Really? You're not even gonna say hello to me? Amidst game state of a chessboard, neither clock seems to have moved. I mean, maybe it was just a casual game. Hi! Hey. Are you one of the hosts? Wait, this is weird. Why would you go to a party where you don't even know who the hosts are? That's a little... You know? That's a little weird. No, I'm a guest. A guest, but what's your name? Ah, Flop! <laughs> thank you, thank you, Flop! Mr. Bissell, I hope you enjoy! Quincy, Quincy Reynard, and you? Hmm. What's your favorite food? Er, excuse me? Your favorite food? Got any? Uh. It's steak? Very rare steak. They spelled like fear. Oh, did they? I didn't even realize. Oh, you know why? Yes, the game developers are Canadian. That's why. <laughs> Let's go Canada! But yes, that's why they spell it with uh, the Canadian or British spellings, if you want to put it that way. Are you telling the truth? Okay, fine. It's avocado salad. What's wrong with avocado salad? What? There is nothing wrong with avocado. I will eat an entire avocado by itself. 
What is wrong with avocado salad? I used to do that as a kid. I was a crazy kid. I would just come home from school and be like, Mom, can I have like half an avocado? <laughs> just, I'll just take a spoon and just go at it. Wait, what is this? Just curious. Hey, you never told me your name. It's Linry. Well, you're an interesting one, Linry. Inviting bottle of single malt and two glasses. Pour a glass and drink? I don't drink. But maybe Quincy does. Let's see what happens. Yes. It's not that inviting. I shouldn't just drink other stuff. But I mean, it's also a party. Oh, Quincy's so well behaved. I guess I can talk to Linry again. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm doing fine, but... Well, this place makes me a little uneasy. How so? Is it the fire cozy? I don't know, it just feels a little off. Yeah, it would feel off too if I just went to a party where I still don't know the host. Da -da -da. You sure making yourself at home though. Have you been here before? Yeah, I've been here many times, but this is my first time. I see. Wait, what? Hmm? Huh? Hubba wubba. Sorry, but could I have a moment to myself, please? I just need to take care of something. Alright. Secretly, she's a chuny bio. And that's what's happening. Wait, I have something to ask you. Okay, what's so weird about going to a party where you don't know the host? I thought it's normal. Okay, okay, listen. Going to a party in a mansion that is falling apart where you don't know the host feels a little sus, especially when you're going alone. What if I just walk into a random college party? You know, maybe the people wouldn't blink twice. They would probably just, oh, here's another person. I could not be that sociable. Yeah, I, I also don't have the energy to do that kind of stuff. <laughs> Wait, I have something to ask you. Huh? Huh? Yeah. How about? Wah? <laughs> what do you want from me, lady? I mean, first I have something to tell you. What is it? <laughs> Your jacket looks nice. Well, thanks, girl. Oh, uh, thanks. And what did you want to ask me? Never mind that. Maybe I'll ask later. Okay then. That kind of stuff really irks me when people are like, I have something to tell you. And then they're like, actually, never mind. I'm not going to. I'm like, you can't, you can't leave me with a cliffhanger. Like, come on, come on. Ooh, desk, let's snoop. I'm sure they won't mind if we're snooping. A laptop with a physical lock on it. Okay, that's a little much, don't we think? A series of contracts with smudged words. Yo, what if this- what if the owner of this place is the one who runs Sigmund Corp? They have a bunch of contracts, maybe- maybe it's the contracts from all their clients and stuff? Maybe? I don't know, I'm- I'm kind of reaching here because I just know this game is sort of related, but I don't know how exactly. Oh. Okay. Nice. Outdoor view. Whoa. This room's something else. It's like a cat room. It is a cat room. Cat. All the cat. Small bronze key. Perhaps that's for the door. Cat? Oh, you're gonna take the key? Uh, I should probably get that back. Hi. Better find a way to get that key without losing a hand. Received a thing on a stick. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here, kitty. Here goes something. 
On a stick. Come get the fishy. Do you want it? No? <gasps> oh, it's kind of cute. Okay. Key. I got a door key. Nice. So... That door over there should lead back to the hallway. You're just gonna ignore this one? You don't want to go in? Okay. Alright, I guess I'm being forced back out. Oh! 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 Hey! Hey! Really? You're gonna go closer? I would not. Ooh, oh. Someone had a bit too much fun. Ah, okay. Well, this is certainly a different mood from To the Moon. Blood? No. Murder? I know. That's a lot of strawberry jam. It is. You're correct. Wait, is everyone dead? Uh... I'd hope not, because I'm assuming someone we met probably killed them. This looks like a homicide to me. Linry- Yo, the blood came all the way into the room. Also, yo, Quincy's just trampling all over all of this. Like, it's gonna be on your shoes, bro. <laughs> Help! Someone help! Is there a point of yelling help when it's pretty obvious they're, uh... Dead? Hey, what happened? We heard you yell. This is why you should know CPR and how to take a pulse. That's true too. Basic, basic things that everyone should know. If you don't yell and there's a camera, does that make you look sus? I wonder. I wonder. If I suddenly saw, like, two very, very dead-looking people in front of me, I probably would get out. Honestly. Get out and call. Call for help. What is that on your hand? It's, uh, the newest strawberry jam. Yeah, we're just not gonna answer questions. We're just gonna go wash our hands with a lot of soap this time. Yes? That was the sound of a clock. I gotta... I gotta tell them. What did I even see? Dead people. Oh, the screen menu is also much redder than I remember it. A lot of dead people. Everything's a little dimmer, isn't it? Hi. Sir, are you doing all right? Uh, upstairs, something happened up there. Excuse me? They're dead. I saw... I don't know how, but I... I mean, I just opened the door and... Have they arrived? Oh, good. You're here. And you're not dead. Hi. Nah. Welcome, and please make yourself at home. How come you're so nice now? You were so mean earlier. What the pug? <laughs> Wait, maybe I'm just seeing things. Maybe they aren't really there. Yeah, try to stick your hand through them. Ugh, they're still super alive. 
I mean, no, wait, that that's a good thing. Maybe I just I imagine the bodies. Ah, I don't know about imagining. That's a. Uh... But how did I? No, I didn't even know what they look like. Are you doing all right? No, I'm having a crisis, dude. It looked like you were spacing out there. Is something the matter? No, I'm going through it. Okay, that's creepy. It is questionable. What is going on? Is your blood sugar low, dear? I... No, I'm okay. I mean, I don't know what I... It's about time. You two'd better go and get ready. Linry? Hello. Did you see what happened? What ha- I'm sorry, do I know you? Do you- Do you not remember me? Have we met somewhere? Suddenly I'm the weirdo. She was being all mystical earlier, and now we're the ones being weird. Here! We literally met. Here! I mean, not literally, literally here, but, uh, in this house. What are you even talking about? I just got here. But upstairs? You asked me what my favorite food was, and... My dark secret. What, the dark secret is avocado salad? I think the main character has the power to see the future or change reality? It could be. It could be. Okay, you're starting to freak me out. Wait a minute. Do you happen to have a twin? Yeah, everybody here has a twin. That's, that's clearly what happened. You're a genius, Quincy. Genius, I tell you. Please do not harass the other guests, Mr. Reynard. Oh, there's more people. Oh, hello. Ooh, what grisly skies we have out there. Tell me, you have someone to take care of the mess, dear? Worry not, Miss Ahuja. I'm probably saying that so wrong. Just step up onto the auto-cleaning module and all will be sorted. Auto-cleaning? Whatever happened to the more hands-on approach? Hands-on? Didn't know you were- Okay. Alright. You seem like a capable lad. For one. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's- Hmm. All things considered, twin is a very reasonable proposition. Is it? Is it, though? I don't know. Oh, wow. She flirting? <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Just, who needs auto-cleaning when you would rather have a hands-on approach? It's like your detective and trying to go back and figure out who did it. This reminds me of Clue. Yeah, so this this game of what I know is more of a mystery-leaning one. I mean, the game is called Imposter Factory, so... Take of that what you will. Gosh, I'm such a mess. And to think, I got into this gown just to drip mud all over the floor. Worry not, ma'am. It's nothing our X-Clean 4000 Super can't handle. 4000? A generation behind, aren't we? I expected better for a facility of this nature. Duly noted, Mr. Armstrong. Oh, your cheeks are just so cute when you say that. This is turning into like some type of like Danganronpa stuff where you just have a whole massive cast of characters. Boy, it's raining terabytes out there. Darn, is that the X Clean 4000? Now we found the tech nerd. Is that the X Clean 4000 Super I spy? Impeccable catch, Mr. Clegg. Of course, I've been wanting to take one of these apart. Along with what you've been brewing over here, if the rumors are true. Certainly. We'll try not to disappoint. Okay, not sure what the reputation of this place is. How many people? 
We got... Blurt. We got... The lady that came with the other dude. With the mud dress and everything. There's the tech nerd, and then there is... The one who was being all mystical and whatnot. And then we have... Our assistants. And we have Ricebot. Are we going to have to guess the murderer at the end of this? Maybe? Maybe? I don't know if it's guess or if it's sort of like... Walking us through... Trying to figure out who it is. I don't know if we have a choice to guess, is what I mean. Who are all these people? 